Authors' names are provided in the description. Let's get into the video. Divorcing my husband without trying to make it work. My STBH ex Eric and I were high school sweethearts, and we grew up in a small town where the majority of the population was white. Eric is white, and while I am not a typical looking white woman, I have enough features that I could be considered white passing. I recently discovered I am mixed race, important later. Eric and I got married after I graduated high school. I became pregnant when I was 26 and had fraternal twins, EJ and Natalie. As the twins got older, EJ started to look like Eric, and Natalie started to look like me. But her skin would get darker like she had a permanent tan. Eric and I were confused by this because no one in our families had a skin complexion like this. Eric became a cop after college. When the kids were seven, Eric got a chance for a promotion, which moved us to the city. I started to notice that Eric would make prejudicial comments against certain communities of people that I would shrug off because they were not overtly offensive. One of Eric's co-workers noticed a picture of EJ and Natalie and asked if Natalie was adopted as she had African-American features and suggested that I might have had an affair after conceiving with Eric as it was possible that twins could be fathered by two different men. This planted a seed of doubt. By the time the twins were eleven, Eric couldn't hold his doubt anymore and demanded a paternity test. He explained his doubt, so I obliged. The test came back as Eric being Natalie's father, but he would act distant towards Natalie. One day, I was using Eric's phone because mine had no charge to look for a recipe for dinner and came across a support forum where Eric was convinced I slept with a black man, was making awful comments about black people, and that I somehow altered the DNA test results. I was furious and confronted Eric. He said there was no way Natalie could be his and demanded another DNA test. I agreed to prove him wrong, and once the test came back, we contacted my parents because I was genuinely confused about where Natalie's features came from because my parents were white. After dancing around the topic, my mom confessed that my dad was not my real dad, and my real dad was biracial. After looking at an old picture, my dad looked white at first glance, but the longer you looked at him, the more you could see his African-American side. I happened to not inherit those genes. This seemed to appease Eric, but I could not forget the comments Eric made about black people and told him I wanted a divorce. He apologized and said he couldn't understand at the time, but I told him it was disgusting that that was what he thought about that community, and I refused to raise my children in an environment that fostered and normalized negative thoughts about any community. Eric and my parents tried to get me to rethink my decision and to go to counseling. I agreed to go to counseling, but I am not changing my mind about divorcing him. Update. Well, I did not expect to get so many responses. I tried to read all of them but couldn't keep up. For the ones I did read, thank you for the thoughtful words. I do have an update, but I wanted to clear some things up first. I'm not sure what you guys mean. My mom lied to me. While she never outright told me someone else was my biological dad, I never questioned it, so it never came up. She told me she would tell me the truth if I ever asked. And everyone. My grandparents and dad knew and agreed to tell me the truth if I asked. Not all prejudice is negative, guys. The prejudicial comments my husband made were saying a kid would be great on track after seeing them run and they happened to be black or that a kid would be a good businessman one day, and they were Middle Eastern. It didn't mean anything to me at the time due to my cultural ignorance. With that, my husband gave me no indication he had certain feelings against other communities, so stop with the you were okay with him being racist until it was you, ugh. When I said he was distant with Natalie, he didn't treat her like dirt. He felt disconnected because he had doubts that she was his and wasn't as affectionate. Otherwise, they still interacted. My husband found out about the Reddit post and was mortified because he didn't realize how his behavior made him look. He also says he appreciates the comments that cut him some slack. Anyway, he booked a session with a counselor at his job for us to go to. I found out that cops have on-site therapists. We got straight into the issue. The counselor asked why the comments bothered me so much, and I told her that I've seen so many innocent people suffer from hatred for something they didn't do and how it makes people act way out of character. The degrading and harmful things people would do and say to others based on a characteristic they can't control and treat them like they were less than human my husband asked if he thought he hated me and the kids. I told him, I don't know. When it was his turn, he confessed to having an inferiority complex toward black men. He talked about how he thought black people were more physically attractive and gifted and that the girls would have crushes on the black boys. How it hurt that none of the girls would look at them. The white boys. So the boys looked for compensating factors that would make them more desirable. Having money, getting careers, not being involved in illegal activity, etc. And it turned into this ugly thing about why I like him when I have this. I was floored. 
I asked him if he was like this when we met, and he said yes, but that I never triggered his insecurities because I didn't pay attention to them or talk to them. They were always in the back of his head. He was worried I would leave him for them, so he started working out, playing sports, and buying cologne to keep up with them. The counselor asked about the comments, and he said that he was looking for validation of his feelings as far as being good enough. When he considered the thought of me cheating, he couldn't understand how I could choose a menace to society over him that has provided for his family and given us a home. I was numb because I didn't think he felt this way. I told Eric that I wanted him to write a detailed, heartfelt apology letter to the community he offended. He is not to tell me what it says or show me, but to write it and then post it anonymously. If strangers can forgive him and push him forward to be better, then I can too. After getting home, Eric wrote the letter, then posted it after proofreading it again and again. He's currently waiting for the comments, and in all honesty, it was enough to make me rethink divorcing him. He's not off scot-free, but I really appreciate his effort. If anything significant happens, I'll update again. Edit, I forgot to include this, but I have not forgotten the comments, and while he gave some explanation, we will talk more in depth about it after this. I did not just magically forget the things he said. The session made me realize he at least has some remorse, so we're starting there. Second edit, SMH. The messages are already flowing in. To the people who are saying I'm excusing his behavior, I am not. For the threats, grow up. I do apologize if this will trigger something in people, as I did not mean for that. Eric's behavior is inexcusable, and there is much work to be done for him. Relevant comments. Stolen fires. He owes you an apology, too, as heartfelt and sincere as whatever he's posting anonymously. He thought you were of such poor moral character that you were capable of cheating on him and then passing off another man's child as his. You were capable of deception enough to somehow alter DNA test results to continue the lie. Someone who could do that is a terrible person, and he thought you were capable of that. OP, he has apologized profusely to me. I didn't accept it at first because I thought it was BS, but after our counseling session, I decided to give him some grace and allow him the opportunity to show he meant it. I do want him to address his biases because, while they may have started off as insecurities, according to him, they have taken a life of their own from his job. Final update. This will be the final update because I am done. I didn't read a lot of the comments because a lot of them were terrible. But the good news is, you guys were right. And I was a dumbarse for believing my husband. I am relieved at the fact that racism isn't tolerated or accepted by the majority, despite you thinking I am. After my husband wrote this apology letter, he received support from people, telling him that they were proud he was able to admit his racism and that he was willing to change. I was willing to work through this, seeing that other people could forgive him, and blah, blah, blah. A day or two later, I was using our iPad and received a notification for a text from mom. I looked at it and didn't recognize the conversation until I realized it wasn't my mom. It was my MIL. I'm assuming my husband forgot to sign out of his Apple ID, so it was linked to his account. I read in the text that MIL was disappointed that I and my kids happened to be of African-American descent and that she didn't expect this for her family but that we were tricked and we are one of the good ones. My husband said he couldn't believe it either, but it's not my fault. My W mother lied about laying with one of them and that he was going to make sure our kids don't become one of the bad ones always on the news. My husband still kept the attitudes that I previously posted in other texts with his mother. I realized there was no hope for him to change, so I am leaving my husband now. I keep in contact with one of the wives of my husband's ex-coworker, who moved some cities away, and I explain everything to her. They will allow me to stay with them until I can find some place for me and my kids since they have the room. I do have a job, so I do not rely on my husband's income. Sorry for disappointing everyone when my husband gave me that BS story in crocodile tears. In hindsight, even then, I should not have. I just wanted to believe there was hope that my husband wasn't racist, but we live and learn. I will not give an update after this because I am exhausted and am only thinking about my kids. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.